Hello friends, I'm Ali, and welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new here. Today I'm going to be talking about the books that I am really excited to be reading during the fall. I have quite a few that I have accumulated that are thrillers. This is specifically thrillers. I'm probably going to read more during the fall, but these are the thrillers that I can't wait to get into. First, I have The City of Ghosts and The Tunnel of Bones. Both of these are by V.E. Schwab. Well, Victoria Schwab on these. Um, these are middle grade. It's about a little girl who is able to see the spirit realm, I believe, and that's about all I know about it. I was not wanting to be spoiled too much about the plot, and I don't even know what this one is about at all. These are not that long, so I'm hoping that they won't be too much to tackle at some point. Next up, I have And Then There Were None by Agatha Christie and Halloween Party by Agatha Christie. This is a Hercule Poirot book. Um, he is a detective. I like the way he operates. He's very Sherlock Holmesy, and so I, I've th I have not read anything other than the Murder on the Orient Express with him in it, so I am excited to check this out probably during the month of October because it, it, it does say Halloween party. And this one I know is supposed to be a murder mystery. I don't know who the main character is in this one, but I know that it follows several people who are like on this island who are dying one by one for some reason, and that is all I know, and I am very excited to read this. I also have Mexican Gothic by Silvia Marino Garcia. I've probably butchered that one as well. Um, spooky house that's possibly haunted, possibly not. Um, maybe somebody going crazy. There are a lot of elements to this that sounded really great. I've seen it getting really good reviews, so I'm excited to read it. And this cover is just absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love it. I also have Riley Sager on my list. I've seen a lot of people talking about Riley Sager and how much they absolutely love his writing. And so I have almost all of his books. The only one I don't have right now is The Last Time I Lied and I should have it by next month. So I'll have Final Girls, Lock Every Door, and The Last Time I Lied to read during the fall. And I'm sure I'm gonna get through all three of these because I am buddy reading this one with my best friend and I'm not buddy reading this one, but I've heard how great it is, and I'm just really excited to read it. After that, I have Survive the Night and The Halloween Tree. This is Survive the Night is by Danielle Vega, and The Halloween Tree is by Ray Bradbury, which is one of my favorite authors of all time. I love Ray Bradbury, and I have read quite a few of his books. I have not read this one. It is incredibly short, so it should take no time at all. Both of these are buddy reads with my best friend, and we plan to read these in the months of October, I think. Both of these are going to be October, because they are both supposed to be spooky. This one, I'm not 100% sure about. It's a, tr some, a group of trick-or-treaters meet up together and go on some kind of weird spooky adventure. It sounds really cool, and I'm excited to read it. Survive the Night is supposed to be about a group of friends who go to a big rave in the sewers, but then the rave just kind of disappears, and they're caught in the sewers with a killer. And it sounds really scary, and I'm probably going to be on the edge of my seat. I am excited, though, because this is going to be an annotated buddy read, so it's going to be like watching a scary movie together, except not watching the scary movie, which we were doing this month also, so it's a lot of fun to make notations in the book whenever something's going on. Like, hey, don't go up those stairs. That's a terrible idea. Don't read the Latin. What are you thinking? Those kinds of things. <clears throat> so these two are going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited for them. The next two books are books that I actually started last year, and then I didn't finish either of them. And it wasn't because I wasn't liking them. It was just because I picked up other stuff and started reading and then never picked these two back up. First is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, and this is about a girl who falls in lust. It is not love. She falls in lust with a man, and she marries him, and starts finding out some weird things about his ex, Rebecca. I love the way the author did this, because you don't ever know the protagonist's name. You just know that she is equating herself with 
his ex-wife Rebecca and maybe possibly everything wasn't as hunky-dory as it seemed in that relationship with Rebecca and I it just seems like a really awesome creepy classic and I have been wanting to get back into this but after I put it down and missed the season I kind of wanted to wait until fall came back around and I didn't necessarily want to put it off that long but I am looking forward to reading it now. After that was Stephen King's The Shining. I had also read not very much, like 40 pages in it, and uh, I was enjoying this one too. I love how Stephen King is able to take people's demons and turn them into a scary story, to turn them into fear. And I know this one is supposed to be about alcoholism. I've seen the movie, but this is the first time that I'm reading the book, so I look forward to seeing how I feel about it. I've heard so many mixed reviews on it. Um, my grandfather actually really likes Stephen King, so I want to give him more of a chance and try to read some more of his books. I would also like to read Pet Cemetery at some time, but I don't actually have that one, so we'll have to see whenever the time comes if I actually have time to read it. Next up, The Woman in the Window by A.J. Finn. I haven't heard a lot about this book. It is about a woman who sees, like, something suspicious out her window. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to be a murder or if she sees, like, the next door neighbors with a body or something. She sees something out her window, but she may not be a reliable narrator because I think she's supposed to be, like, on some kind of medication because she's staying at home due to an injury, I think. I'm not sure. Don't hold me to that. I like to go into my thrillers kind of blind because it makes them more thrilling. So this premise is really intriguing to me, despite not knowing exactly what it's about. And last, but not least for sure, In a Dark Dark Wood by Ruth Ware. I picked this up at a used bookstore. It has kind of mixed reviews. I'm not really sure what to think about it. Uh, the main character goes to a bachelorette party for somebody that she was friends with in the past, but I don't think she has a lot of connection with in the present. I don't really know. I know that she goes to this bachelorette party, something crazy happens, it gets suspenseful. That's about it. And I hope it brings all the spooky vibes because it sounds like it would be really thrilling about the cabin in the woods and I don't know. We'll definitely see. I think it's going to be good. I believe that's all the books that I'm going to attempt to read through the fall season. That's quite a few, so I think I've got plenty on my plate. A couple classics that I had considered reading are Frankenstein by Mary Shelley and Dracula by Bram Stoker. So if I start feeling like reading a classic, I'll probably pick up one of those two at some point. Other than that, that's a pretty hefty thrillers TBR for the next two months. I've really just been in a thriller mood lately. I've honestly just wanted to be picking up thrillers and kind of getting into the mood of the season that we're coming into. I've never been super into thrillers in the past, so I'm kind of really diving into it and I'm trying to figure out what types of books I like and what types of books don't really work for me. So I've got this whole entire stack to attempt to find some thrillers and scary reads that work for me. If you've read some of these, let me know what you think about them down in the comments. And if you have some recommendations for me, some books that you think that I might enjoy, please leave me a comment and let me know. Until next time, guys, I will see you later.